Hey everyone, I know I'm like a broken record on this subject, but I did just change Linux distros again. I recently made a video on Garuda Linux, an Arch-based system with, in my case, a Cinnamon desktop. I'd stated then that I was probably going to keep using Garuda until the next version of Pop! OS came out, the one with the new Cosmic desktop. That was indeed the plan, and Garuda was working well. I had a minor rendering issue with Kid and Live. I was able to successfully render videos, but Kid and Live would throw an error each time that rendering had crashed, which was annoying. That was resolved by an uninstalling and using the Flatpak version of Kid and Live instead. Now, I was not actually aware of the fact that version 41 of Fedora Workstation was incoming, and when it appeared, I thought, yeah, I might as well give the Fedora Spin Cinnamon version a try. Well, I did. And it didn't work. Well, that's not strictly true. It installed fine and ran properly until I installed the pending updates. After that, I could log in, but I would get a black screen with a working cursor, uh, some kind of session or driver error, I presumed. I tried recovery mode and also reverting to the original installed kernel, but got the same result. I was able to open the terminal, and a few years ago I might have fussed around in there to see if I could fix it, but you know what? I'm too old and life is too short. But rather than reject Fedora altogether, I went with the flagship GNOME version, and so far it's working just fine. A couple of points to note. Fedora still uses the Anacondas installer, which I personally find a little weird compared to other graphical installers, just the sort of logic of it. I, I don't know what it is. It is. I just don't get along with it too well. I mean, it works okay, but... And now uh, Fedora also has the GNOME version 47 and DNF version 5. Now, I should make it clear that my use case is pretty straightforward. I don't use multiple monitors or need to use fractional scaling or things like that. I also don't have exotic or high-end hardware accessories like cameras or video capture devices. Nor do I have an NVIDIA GPU, which may be a bit of a pain point for some, based on some Reddit and other comments I've seen, although some of those seem very much like edge cases, but who knows. I do have a standalone USB microphone that I sometimes use, but more often than not, I'll just use a wired set of Apple earbuds that has a built-in mic, like I'm doing now. I primarily use my AMD Ryzen 5 powered laptop for audio and video work using Kid and Live, OBS Studio, and Audacity, plus everyday stuff like web browsing and writing or editing, since it is my daily driver computer. I also have a MacBook Air, but that's still a secondary device for most things. I did change a few of the default items in Fedora 41. Most obviously, I installed the Dash to Dock extension, which makes the default GNOME launcher panel act more like a dock. That's just my preference. I also made sure to select additional non-free repositories when installing Fedora and enabled the RPM Fusion repositories, giving access to more third-party software and drivers. GNOME 47 is now Wayland only on a freshly installed Fedora system. My understanding is that X server is not even installed, which in large part doesn't really matter to me unless something doesn't work. However, it does seem to work fine. No issues seen with audio or video after a few days. No flickers or other weirdness. DNF is uh, Fedora's default package manager, and version 5 is definitely faster for both updates and software installation. For me, updating Fedora used to be almost as painful as updating Windows, but this is much improved. I guess closer to most Ubuntu-based distros like Mint and Pop! OS in terms of speed. On my system, though, I still think Arch-based distros still update the fastest, possibly because of the more frequent updates being smaller in size. I'm not sure on that. I have used Fedora before, version 39, I think, and this does subjectively feel like an improvement over that, which I guess is the point, right? Not sure what the issue was with the cinnamon spin, but I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I've used enough different flavors of Linux that quote-unquote just work with my hardware and software that I don't need the extra aggravation here in 2024. Fedora Workstation 41 comes with a decent selection of installed software, a noticeably faster package manager, and a seemingly robust Wayland implementation. So, no complaints on the GNOME version on a pretty average AMD-powered laptop. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. Catch you next time.